Right, hello, welcome back to Family Ski. So, uh, the last, uh, last two episodes um, were interesting. They got about two views, which is probably a good thing. Um, and I, I remember we <laughs> kind of failed to actually get all the um, animal missions done, so we're going to try and do that today, because it that's not where I'm going. It seems like, for some reason, he only does show up at daytime, so, and I like playing in a nighttime mode, so we'll try and get this done for today. Um, yeah, we're probably playing the thimbles for this one, but <laughs> an interesting look. Competition type, slalom type. I don't think we've done slalom type before. These are like the exact same poles. They like <laughs> they're, they're, okay, they're just slightly different. Like they have a different texture on these really thin poles that you can't see the different texture on. So I guess, I guess we'll go for those. Competition type. I mean, actually, to be fair, this one looks a bit stripy. This one might fit our costume a bit better. We'll go for that. Um, skis. We don't have anything new, but I remember I kept not being able to figure out what most of these are of, like recognizing them and not remembering the names. Do we have any like parving shorts yet? Oh, we do. Okay. Have we used these ones before? I'm honestly not sure, but we'll, we'll use them <laughs> again because they they fit with the theming that we're I guess now going for. Gloves we've got a load of, because we just kept not using gloves. We kept using outfits that don't let you use gloves. Um, oh, we've, yeah, we've got all of these, okay. What have we got here? I like these ones, okay. Go with these boots, some... Oh, okay. Ah, okay, so scratch the sheets, scratch the skis. That's a tongue twister and a half. It's not really, I just suck at speaking. Um, scratch the skis, we got, we finally unlocked the uh, slippers, which, I mean, you don't even have skis, so I guess that does fit the theme a bit better, actually. Um, hat. What else do we have that we haven't used? I don't know if we've used the goat horns yet. Go for these. Fit the colour and then goals. Could just go for a, a uh, remove goals thing. Just go, you know, completely <laughs> the, the naked eye, if you will. So I think this this is some ex well, I don't know about acceptable, but certainly eye catching drip this episode. So yeah, we'll go for this and daytime and. Where's the next animal guy going to be? I don't have a Scooby. Maybe he's like right at the top. I think it's the monkeys that are right at the top next time, but they just... I, I don't know where the actual guy is that we have to talk to to get them to spawn, so... I don't think he's up here. The orienteering guy is up here. So... <laughs> we, can talk to, we can talk to him, I guess. So... Should I take... <laughs> ah. Oh yeah, it's this guy who's just... Way too scared to. Star point one. One star point, rather. This is. Control point eight. Um, Lion Peak is a scary course. Yes, very frightening course that we haven't been down yet, so. <laughs> drawing drawers, you know, using the manual style. You know, back. <laughs> Kids and their technology. Back in my day, we'd draw straws to see whether the guy who's way too scared of ski slopes should go right at the top. Didn't need to sleep a wink last night. Well, you could just be like, no, fuck that, I'm not going up there. Just give me another one. Let me show how to get. Maybe this, like, orange is just like, really serious business, like, you know. We don't have time for picking and choosing. Let me show how to. Well, you, you can go down the slope for once. Oh. Talking about making more scared. <laughs> Mind off this mess, yeah. Because, you know, I'm sure that'll help. The competitive Martin. I don't think you've got a tick. Oh, well, I'm a whiskey veteran, so, you know. This should be pretty easy. The path of the deer. Okay, so we know exactly where he is. Short sidestep. Okay, so we 
don't know exactly where he is, except I do, because I know where he is. It's in kind of a weird spot. Which <laughs> isn't really on this step, surprisingly enough. Um, so... Uh, we're, we're at the top of uh, Lion Peak, I think. Lion Peak. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, you know, definitely called Lion Peak. Yeah, Lion Peak, see? I'm, like, a veteran of this game, so I know what this course is called. While we're up here, might as well talk to this guy. I don't think we've talked to even all the uh, <laughs> guys for the courses below, but anyway. This is the toughest course. Yeah, well, that, that would... In fact, it's not even the toughest course. It's like, I guess it is the tough. It's the toughest main course. The secret Yeti Canyon is tougher, but I guess, I guess that makes sense. And it flat on your face. Came here on my day off. Is this like all taking place in a day? Maybe like that's because you're just like a time traveler who's like, because we're going from night to day and stuff. So, I mean, I d I, d I don't know if. Don't really know if that makes sense otherwise. Pretty hardcore spot. Yeah, this 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 is extreme sports this guy knows. Or a nap. <laughs> okay. We've got the guy before who's gay shitless, and then this guy who's just having a nap. Okay. I'll try not to hurt myself. i you know. I think last time we <laughs> We met the guy who was like, yeah, I I found <laughs> my wife because I crashed into a tree. Yeah, the, okay, the guy's not up here. But yeah, that that guy does not approve of that. that there's a bell we can ring, but the actual person isn't up here, so... Guess we're <laughs> gonna go around and find wherever he is. Maybe he's at, like, Foxway? Because I, I think I did check Rabbit Road and he wasn't there. But I'm also not sure if he can appear on Peace or, like, what really, so... Not over in this weird little bit. No. So I don't know. Can he spawn at the bottom? He doesn't seem. Oh, he is at the bottom. That would be why I haven't found him, because I just didn't go to the bottom. Anyway. So this will be the monkeys, I think, so we'll go back up to the top now. Yep. That, that is. Yep, some monkeys. Believe it or not, wow, extremely clever with their hands, eating bananas, they peel the sc well, I mean, I, I, want, I don't know if <laughs> just shoving it skin on would be really the best way to do it. Monkeys love places with a nice view. It happens to be an observatory. Is there an observatory? The highest point, okay, so I recommend you go on to ski lift that takes you to the highest point. Which basically translates to, I'm just going to tell you where they are. Um, I guess that kind of goes for pretty much every so-called hint in this game. Is it's basically just telling you where they are. Apart from the orienteering one, because that's kind of a weird one. But we'll cross that loading zone when it comes to it. So, here is the monkey. Singular monkey. You found the monkeys, yes. <laughs> oh, one of them. Wow. Wow, really? Oh, th th thanks for telling me about the posing game. Everything is clear. I who even is this? Like, it was like the voice of God. Just like... Communicating with us about how to pose for a photo. Oh, okay, no, there are two monkeys. We go for this one? I don't know. Might as well. Day 12 of them, I mean... That's as good as photo as we're probably gonna get. Marvellous, yes. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, I can take that picture of that animal whenever I like, which I'm sure I will do. Totally. Okay, where's the fourth guy then? Well, there's the same guy, but where does he spawn next? Not here. Is he just... right there? No. No, because I think the next one is the bear that spawns in that cave. But again, I don't know where the actual guy is, so... Is this the Rabbit Road one? I don't even know if there is a Rabbit Road one, but... So he's... He... I don't think he'll be up here. No, he doesn't seem to be up here. 
logic would say he's here, which he is. But God, we finally got that figured out after going to literally every other place on the map. Check where he is. So it's gonna be the bear then. Yep. Awfully gentle bear. This <laughs> those aren't yeah, it's you know, just a completely normal safe bear. This bear loves to eat, wow, does it? I wonder if there's no the building where food is served. Apart from that one, which is, you know, also a building where food is served, but I wonder if the building gives food to the bear. Isn't that hot for me? No, it's bad business. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's that it doesn't go through the bins or something, but I don't know. To be fair, that is the same restaurant that, you know, <laughs> picks up random people off the street to do delivery service, so. Anyway, I keep forgetting that <laughs> sidestepping is indeed a thing in this game, and it is indeed not a thing you actually want to do, like, ever. So, let's just not sidestep, let's just ski normally. Can you. Yep, thanks. Okay, here's the bear. I found the bear. Okay. <laughs> cool. I like how the animation just resets every time you change Xbox. That's yep. I I do know how to pose now. It's I've, I've done it quite a few times. It's just in you know, in case between the ten seconds that okay, that's a good that's a good pose. Getting out of money's well, our lack of money's worth out of not wearing goggles on this one. Those eyes. <laughs> Being with them can soothe your soul, yes, especially big bears that could probably murder you. Yep. <laughs> you keep almost forgetting that. You, you would have thought you'd remember one of these times, but no. Ah, here he is. Okay, this is the rabbit road one. Did I not, like. <laughs> I'm here before, or did I? I don't know, maybe I just was blind and didn't see him. Yeah, there is. I knew there was one at Rabbit Rose. Is this going to be the Yeti? <laughs> yeah, okay. So, yeah, there's five animal ones. That makes sense. Yeah, it can make it snow as much as it wants. It's an envious skill, yes. You wouldn't need air conditioning in summer. Yes, you could fill your house with water because there's snow in it. Mysterious Yeti. Okay. So. I didn't read any of that, but yes, I've got that, because, I mean, I, I know exactly where to find it. Um, so, we, yeah, we can kind of kill two birds with one stone here, because the um, orienteering guy will also be down this way. So, we're finally going to go to Yeti Canyon. Um, <laughs> I, I don't think I'm going to get S plus first try on this. If I do, then I guess we'll have done that. If not, then I'll wait until the end to do that, because I guess that'll be a good finishing up point. Let's talk to the guy while we're here. Hey. Hold your horses, you can't ski here. Of course, off limits to you. Except there's literally a guy in, like, the uniform. He's just standing here, warning him. It's just, just, like, your job. Just, yeah, don't, don't, don't come down here. I'm just, you know, I'm just the guy who stands here in case anyone comes here. The monsters lurk in the area and whatnot. There's Kitan itself. at your own risk and be careful, which I'm not going to do, because, you know, that's good you lives life on the edge. So yeah, I don't, I actually don't remember this one being that hard, it's just like, quite easy to fuck up, basically, but th I don't think there's any, like, turning and stuff, and this one, there's no tricks, so, I mean, we we've def we're definitely not getting S plus here, because, you know, <laughs> we hit that wall, but... I mean, actually, thinking about it, we wouldn't get S plus anyway, because we need to talk to the Yeti. Unless it, like, spits you out somewhere at the top. <laughs> and we'll have to go down it again, but... Yeah. So, yeah, so there's Yeti Canyon. There's two kind of pathways. There's that one on the left with the big dinosaur skirting, which will probably go down at some point. But over here, we have a Yeti. You found the Yeti? Yes, I do. Yeah, we got a little Yeti house. Let me tell you. Oh, thanks. Yes, thanks, God. Maybe it's like the Yeti talking, like. 
<laughs> He's just explaining. Or she, I shall not assume the Yeti's gender. Or they, whichever gender it is, the Yeti's. Maybe it's the Yeti telling us. Maybe it's, you know, the monkeys earlier. The deer, it's the fox, whatever. It's just every every animal in this game speaks English, but only knows how to <laughs> tell people how to pose for a photo. So, I guess we'll save that to our, to our album. Some <laughs> great clothes to... Thanks for that. Don't know, don't know if you've ever said that before, but th thanks for that voice clip. Go to your album. Yes. Yep. Yep. Cool. Oh, okay. So it just spits us out right next to the Oratorian. Gone. Die. Gone. Don. Guy. Whatever you bloody want to say. Dang it. How'd you find me? Well, I kind of got, just got spit out here. And also because... There's literally like a really good hiding spot next to like the lift one that just nobody ever in the orating tearing thing goes to. Did you know there's a kid out here? Yes, I went through it. There's something unusual about it. Yes, there's a yeti in it. No, it's my actually yes. Near elephant stage. Now what am I saying? You're saying the correct thing. Now for your final clue. Message from the CEO. Ah, Jim. Jim here, I managed to last. Now onto your clue. Oh, isn't? Oh, yeah, the last guy is just, he's just in there. So I guess we are going back again. But we're also not going to get the S+, because we're probably just going to spat out here again. I mean, even if we do, I assume talking to an orienteering guy, Miz, <laughs> ski down would disrupt it. So, we'll go down again. I don't actually remember which side he's on, so... Hopefully we <laughs> go whichever one's the correct way, probably the left side. So yeah, this of course there's if I can not <laughs> keep bumping my stuff on that turn, then I can probably get an S plus not too difficultly. And also stop doing that and that. I don't actually know how harsh they are on Bounce here. Like, they might have been really generous and been like, even if you bump something you can still get an S+. Plus. I don't know. We shall see. Okay, yeah, I think he is on the left side. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think the idea is you're meant to find that guy by sidestepping up the step, but I'm just not. No. <laughs> Nice, uh, <laughs> nice hot air balloon, you can see there. Whoa, you've finally done it. It's your hunch is crazy. Completely on well, yeah, you're the last guy, so obviously I have. <laughs> 1071st orange here. Snazzy pin, ah yes, the snazzy pin which will never be seen again. So finally, you can hardly see it, yes, because there is no pin. How do you feel about orange hearing? One of you should have gone to the lift one bit. Visit places you wouldn't normally go to, as in, visit places you would normally go to, because pretty much all of them have just been, <laughs> kind of, <laughs> we've just randomly run into them, but yeah. Capture of life itself. That is stretching it a little, I think. Spirit, spirit of exploration. I mean, yeah, I guess. Never heard of orienteering. <laughs> You'll be a wonderful experience, yeah. I, I recommend orienteering to all my friends, yeah. Oh yeah, don't want don't to cause any problems, I see. <laughs> right, yeah, we've just missed that out here, okay. So now that that's done and dusted, probably time to go do more camel hump stuff. Actually, let's do a trick mission while we're at it, because we might as well get another one of those done. I'm sure this one will be, you know, an equally tough one as <laughs> all the previous ones, you know, having to do really difficult tricks like twisters. And Cossacks. Hey there. Love com yep. Well. Let's see, what's this gonna be? Ah, oh, front flip, bloody hell. Really, really difficult stuff here, you know. Suck on the D pad, click the non shark, you know. Have to do two things at once, you know. Let's 
So that was actually quite an easy one, that one. But, you know, I, I don't know if there's, I don't know if they're going to make it any harder, but like that, that one was quite easy, so may, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe the next one should be harder, but I don't know. That, 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 that one was quite easy for me, you know, a family ski veteran, so. Now it's time to go do mogul things with moguls. Maybe I'll just treat the moguls like the um, air trick, so I just kind of do one at a time. I'll, I'll do the actual camel comp as well, because I don't think we actually did that last time. I think we, wasn't that like what we nearly ended the episode off and then we just didn't, because we decided to go see the orange hearing guy, because we never did that. But yeah. So, mogul tournament. Yes. Yep. It's just... <laughs> just... Do the, do the moguling. Go down the course. Not entirely difficult. Well, I guess it is somewhat difficult. It's more... Not entirely... <laughs> complicated, shall we say. Radio 1080, lovely. Three sixty side flip. Wants to be good. Ah, oh come on. That's definitely because of that last bump. Or maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's like speed or something. So we were very slow. I think last time we actually it was quite generous with speed. So I don't know quite what it didn't like there. But okay, well. Have a slightly better go there. Alright. Did not mean to do that. Yeah, it's, it's definitely like when you accidentally like press the um or oh, not press but use the nunchuck when you're in the middle of doing one of those things and it just does it afterwards. Do another Rodeo 1080, may as well. We just need to be right here, so that'll be it. What do you mean, D? You're having me on, that was bloody brilliant. <laughs> don't know what it hates, though. There we are, A, success. Because <laughs> we did turns a bit more, I guess. Yeah, t well, of course it was A turning, yeah. So speed and time just don't matter. I don't even know why they have that, because it just... <laughs> it's not difficult to get an S plus on that. Um, and tricks we just did well. Balance wasn't great, but oh well. Yes, didn't expect you to do well, because the bloody turning is stupid, and it took me 20 attempts to actually figure out why I didn't like it. Okay, well, with, armed with that knowledge, we can do the actual camel hump now. Because we may as well do that. And then after that, I shall see if we've been recording for like 20 hours yet. Because I usually do end up recording for 20 hours. Just, you know, if time flies when you're having fun, and time also flies when you're not having fun. Such as when it keeps giving you Ds. The, th the really annoying thing about this, which I, I said in the last time, but you have to ski all the way to the thing every time because they put you like <laughs> all the way over here for some reason. I, I still I still don't know why the, they made it like that. Whether the lift seven is at the back, and lift eight's at the front, because it'd be way more convenient just to or even just be put in the middle of that bit when you spawn in. But no. <laughs> Right at the back every time, so let's not screw this up, please. It's like also the annoying thing about that is it didn't really give you time to tell where the moguls actually are because you need to be between them. If you if you like hit the top of a mogul, you just die in real life. So you need to kind of figure out where the moguls actually are. Don't know if that. Was enough turns, but 
need a lot there to compensate. Do the trick, please. Thanks. Your nan eats bed frames. Alright, let's hopefully have a better go here. Ooh. So yeah, I think we can just kind of rodeo 1080 of both of these and it will give us S plus tricks, which is nice. Get some good turns in here. All good. I mean, that's an S plus if I've ever seen one. Yes, let's go. Cool. So yeah, now it should be a lot easier to do the mogul things now that we actually know how it works. Um, right, to be honest, I think that's probably enough uh, for the end of the video. We've been recording for quite a while, so... Yeah, if you enjoyed the video, then do like the video. If you didn't enjoy the video, then... Your nan eats bed frames, and yeah. Thanks for watching, bye.